Hi, my name is Alicia Shank. I'm the executive director and founder of Image of Hope Ranch. The reason we started Image of Hope Ranch was it gave us an opportunity to give back to the community. At one point in our family's life, we went through a dark period and we needed help ourselves. We were able to get that help through the open arms and the open heart of a family down in Louisiana. They, um, they helped, helped us heal. And we decided after that that when we got the opportunity, we would like to do the same for others. Over the last year, our organization has grown tremendously. We're actually at max for what we can do for the community right now. When we started last January, uh, we were probably at a couple clients that came out. We're now at 28. So we have one area that we can do these client sessions and scheduling is, is getting tough because uh, we are at our max. Um, we can't add any more clients. What we need is another area to provide this service for, for the community. There are many ways that we've been able to impact the community with, uh, with our clients. Um, I have several stories that I could share, but um, one of them is a gentleman who, he actually had six um, strokes throughout a period of time and lost quite a bit of his memory. Um, that caused him to um, get depressed, he was diagnosed with PTSD, didn't even want to get out of bed in the mornings. Once he started coming to the ranch, um, his whole um, outlook on life changed. He's now looking forward to going back to school um, to become a lawyer. Okay, we have a client that was diagnosed with RAD, which I don't know if you're familiar with that, but um, it's a disorder, attachment disorder, where they um, never learn to trust, they, they've never been nurtured. When um, this little gal came to us, um, she was very frightened, wouldn't pet the horses, wouldn't, um, when I asked her to groom, if she wanted to groom the horses, literally broke down and cried. She's now um, grooming the horses and leading them through our obstacle course, and um, the joy on her face is just priceless. Uh, have another little boy who um, has ADHD. So when he first came to the ranch, he was all over the place. And when he brushed the horses, you know, he was just moving all over. He had the horses nervous and stuff because of all of his energy. He now um, has been here over a year and quietly grooms the horses now. He's riding very well. He's become a very good rider too. So another success story. So we use an obstacle course during our sessions um, for the client to walk the horses through. This seems like it would be an easy thing to do, but the horses don't necessarily trust everybody. So the client and the horse has to build that trust. Building that trust takes time, but it also teaches the client how to do this. So they can then take that out into the community, build trust with others, peers, um, their co-workers and, and such. The help from the foundation will enable us to expand our program. We will be able to help more people in the community by adding additional areas that we can schedule sessions.